Decryption completed. The password to the file was 1234QWER. <laughs> I, I can understand 1234, but what's QWER? QWER. They're all in a row. They're all in a row as well? Yep. Oh, I see. I didn't get to read the last bit of what she said. Uh, you can now access the file. Sorry. Okay. If there really is a new world on the other end, if there are people waiting for us, I need to know if I've been wrong all this time. Simmer, if your theory is correct, I'm willing to follow you. Hmm. Does Simmer know what's going on? She... Or she's it, probably gonna... Or is she worried that she's not going to actually be able to see the other side of the Stargate because her probably. power is already diminished so much? Probably to keep the zombie alive. Wait, no, I thought the zombie wasn't depleting her. Maybe she's lying yeah. about it. Either. I don't know. Reading contents. Completed. There are no contents. What do you mean? There is no information on the Stargate or any extraterrestrial colonization. So there really wasn't anything. Reconfirming. The files you requested are not there. From the start, the entire folder was empty. So what does this mean? Were they lying about the colonization? Was the entire Stargate project deception? Also, you have uh, the cursors right in the middle of her hair. <laughs> that can neither be confirmed nor denied. I've never been a part of the Stargate project. At the time, the SUC needed to reassure the populace using any means necessary. However, we expanded massive amounts of resources and manpower to construct the Stargate. In order to complete the project, the Supreme President nearly bankrupted the SUC. This couldn't have just been a propaganda project. So we're back to where we started. We can't confirm anything. I don't believe it. How could there be no data at all? Simmer, I know you haven't given up. Let's find another supercomputer to help. No. I'm running out of time. Uh, what? I've already made up my mind. This isn't going to change anything. The Stargate is our only hope. I want to continue staying with you all, but I'm running out of time. <laughs> Simmer! I can't do this anymore, Grill. I have to go activate that other Stargate. No, that doesn't make sense. You're already running out of magic. If you use even more, you'll destroy yourself. In your current state, you can't even get past the barrier around the capital, let alone activate the Stargate too. Out of everyone here, only I can break the barrier with my necromancy. I need to tear it down before I disappear. Otherwise, you'll all be stuck here forever. You can't go, Simmer. Are you doing this to look responsible? What's been troubling you? Come here and let's talk about it. I told you, I'm running out of time. But I can't help you escape before Putrid returns. I'm done arguing with you. Stop getting attached to this place when it's destined to be destroyed. I've already sacrificed too much. I've wronged you all just because I wanted everyone to live. Now I have to... Ah! No, Simmer. Don't do this. Sorry, Grill. I don't know what else I can do. I just want to be with everyone. I want to go back. That's impossible now. Apprentice, I've already taught you everything I know. After I'm gone, Grill's gonna need your help. I truly thank you for allowing me to summon you to this difficult world. Please carry on my knowledge and experience. Take care of Grill. She's kind of an idiot. Wait, Simmer! I don't get what you're trying to say. Don't go! Hmm. My new superiors have now separated after an explosive argument. As their employee, you're probably confused about what to do too. According to Simmer's words, she's on her way to destroy the barrier around the capital. The quickest way to access the capital is through Snowpeak, 
so there's a high probability of finding Simmer there. My main mission is to help extend human civilization. Social instability is my secondary mission. In light of that, I will open up an elevator to Snow Peak to help you find Simmer. Rapid changes in leadership and decision making are not conduce to conductive to social stability. Please bring our leader back. I wonder if we're almost the nepotism guy. What? Brought back as a zombie? Yeah. I've just been trying It'd to be amusing. I I've just been trying to um think of who he could have possibly been in life to have because he had this like shrine to him when we woke up which is like above and beyond i thought that was just part of simmer's ritual to bring him in but no you're right i don't know it could have been it just it seemed weirdly because there are other corpses and things to say hey you've been brought back to life congrats for getting past this point also, snow. I wonder if you're going to be able to make ice cream and slushies and such with the parts that you get in this area. Yep. Also, those ice spikes, they're drooling and they have their eyeballs going in opposite directions. I guess he's just a trap. Mm -hmm. I wonder, it's probably Christmas music, but it always seems as though metallic chimes and such tend to be the, this is the ice zone. It could also be because when people think of icicles falling from a roof, they hear that tinkling sound. Yeah. Music you in this game is so good. Yeah. Like, the first chapter had, like, no music. Maybe they're patching in the music. Maybe, yeah. So this has the piano, the chimes, the, the cellos. And even if they're all electronic, they sound really nice. Sweaty sports drink. The sweaty sports drink. Wow. Uh... It's probably bad for me, but I remembered for years I liked having blue Powerades. You know the little bottles? Yeah. For lunchtime? The blue was specifically my favorite flavor. Ice bird meat. Is this entire bird made of ice? Oof. stone. Oh, it breaks apart and then brings itself back together again. That's amusing. What are you going about? Platforming. Mm -hmm. Oh, recipe. It looks like ice cream. Elemental, Elemental Sunday. Sunday. Now I want matcha ice cream. At some point. Maybe later tonight. Ah, but if we're having cheesecake? Well, I guess you could have cheesecake with ice cream. Nah, 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 you're right. We're gonna make the cheesecake. Snow chapter. Dying of starvation in the snowy tundra is near impossible for the well trained chef. Just eat snow. That's interesting. I would think that when people try to get through winter months, depending on if they have enough of a uh, harvest stored up, from the fall, whether it be dried or smoked things, would you pretty much have to eat nothing but maybe root veg vegetables and meat all winter long? Maybe. Maybe dried fruits, if you have some dried fruits stored properly. And nuts. Because nuts are good. I found it really interesting when we had that 
Thai food from the one place that actually included not water chestnuts, but chestnut chestnuts in it. I thought that those were really nicely cooked. Yeah. Those look like Articunos. Apple flurry ice cream. Mm. I don't know if I've ever had an apple flavored ice cream. Huh. You know, you know, like if someone had made an apple pie ice cream, maybe with cinnamon and stuff. Maybe a caramel swirl. I'm surprised there hasn't been an a cider apple cinnamon caramel swirl ice cream. You understand what I mean? Yeah. No, I'm thinking about this, and I've seen a lot of foods go by, but yeah, apple ice cream, not so much so. Grill, we finally found you. Huh? Is that... Emma? But... how? We can talk about that later. Right now, we need your help. Look at this. These are... Simmer Soul Shards. Do you know where she went? I've been looking all over for her. She's in a dangerous state. These fragments are pieces of her soul falling apart. She's... If she loses... She loses so much. Leaving behind just her will. She, wait, wait. She's this is, losing too much. She's losing too much. Yeah, this is definitely more typos. Wow, yeah, it's getting bad. She's losing so much. Leaving behind... Wait, wait. Oh. She, if she leaves too many behind, she won't be Simmer anymore. That's yeah. what... That's, that's what this is essentially trying to say. She was acting strange right now, so I thought I should find you. The others are still following her. What should we do? Stop her from using any more magic. I'll... I'll find a way. Have you guys found any other soul shards? I... I don't know. Zombie, I need your help. Simmer is starting to collapse. She must be dropping shards all over the place. This is my fault. I stubbornly held on to my own beliefs for too long. I've made too many mistakes. I must go and prepare the magic necessary to repair her soul. I need you to please help me gather these shards. I'll bring her back, no matter what it takes. Ooh, a frosty tree. So the sweaty sports drink, as gross as it sounds, really good healing item. So I should be able to stay full health for a lot longer. Oh, well, this is just inconvenient now. Oi. That looks like it might be something. Yeah, a little secret down here. Wee. try to evoke the feeling of mountains by having all of these angles and points. There we go. Oh, oh got it. Bird, snow, snow cone. Snow cone. Boy, howdy. Stuff is happening. Contrary to popular beliefs, plants do not crave electrolytes. I love that movie. Hmm? Which one? Idiocracy. Oh. I mean, it's like equal parts. Terrifying. I actually haven't seen it. I've only I've seen that first three to five minute segment where they were going over how idiocracy occurs. Yeah. It's 
Simmer Soul, Soul Shard. Oh, Kamul. Oh, right. He was one of the friends. You know those laser guns attached to the Executor drones? Every day they kill thousands of people who just want to survive. I caused the death of so many just because I want to survive. My existence only results in more death. What good is there in being alive? And done! Uncle Z's instant beef noodle soup. Give it a try. I just added hot water. Cooking's actually pretty easy. That's nice. Okay, Ice Bird Scythe. Oh, that would go along with your scythe stuff. Summon a powerful Ice Bird Spirit. Holy hand grenade. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Stygian Blaze. Ooh. Wendigo. We don't have any Wendigo meat right now. Uh huh. Well, because this is a frigid region, you'll probably find a Wendigo. Wendigos are cool looking. Depends on the media. It does. But when they're the ones that are kind of the. Oh, oh, you're thinking of Until Dawn. Yeah, those ones aren't cool. No, I like the ones where they have some deer features. The, specifically, they have the humanoid bodies, but the deer skulls on their heads. Blood with red the battery antlers. suit. Because those are neat. But yeah, the lore behind them is that they were people who resorted to cannibalism. On mountains, yep. Mm -hmm. Well, specifically, I don't know if it's on mountains or in it's the usually cold in frigid or just mountains. in winter in general. Oh, geez, this gets ridiculous. Yeah, I remember we played that Until Dawn game in a couple nights, and... We, we played through it in one sitting. We pretty much made all the right decisions to keep everyone alive except for that one dude. And then there was that one instance near the end where you couldn't move your controller at all and it must have wiggled just enough. Yeah, just slightly. Yeah, as much as I would like to play the... There was that... Man and Madame? No, 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 no. The... The Alien Isolation game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that that one uses not only movement, but sound. Uh, I, I suppose you can turn them off so you don't have to play it that way. But I know that it would keep track of... Wouldn't it also keep track of your heartbeat? I forget. But, yeah, if you made a sound, the alien could hear you and come for you. Which means that that game would be absolutely horrendous for Let's Plays because how would you be able to talk or co have any commentary without alerting the alien to your presence every single time? It reminds me of that one game that we played where it took voice commands for you to command troops around. It was that you were like the head of a SWAT team. Do you remember? Yeah. Um, and we Binary were, domain. Yeah, and we were commentating of course, because we were starting the game, and the characters would constantly say, I didn't hear you. What did you mean? Yes, sir. Wait, stop teasing me. Are you hitting on me? And we go, what? We can't play this. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it was... Cool and novel concept, though. Yeah. It actually is one of those games that I've wanted to kind of maybe go back to at some point. Hey, have you seen Callous Man? It's made by the same guy that did Captain DUI. I feel better about my life, so I don't want to read any more dark comics. Callous Man. Aha! I am Callous Man. My powers help me vanquish empathy. <laughs> Modern society is so full of tragedy and atrocities, rampant crime, economic crises, and environmental degradation. When I learn about the suffering of others, I feel terrible, but I can't do anything about uh, anything to change this society. Wait, is is he really just supposed to be when people are are exposed to so much vile media that they just lose? Yeah. They, okay, go on. This helplessness is making me anxious, depressed, and cynical. I need to use my powers to make this world a better place. Be gone, Empathy! I... 
I've lost my empathy. Ha 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 ha! Why don't you go find a job, beggar? Oh no, that poor turtle with the yeah, yeah. How you've seen those straws videos get stuck in their noses? Of the turtles with straws stuck in their noses. It's terrible because they accidentally eat the stuff. Ha ha ha! The turtle got a straw stuck in its nose again. When we stop feeling for others, tragedy miraculously becomes comedy. He's the antagonist, right? I've seen Captain DUI, but this guy is something else. That's why I got cancelled. <laughs> why are you showing me all this? I think the author is a lot like you. He made this because he experienced the same kind of suffering as you. The world's a big place, and we're all very small. Things don't change overnight. There are a lot of tragedies that we can do nothing about. What? Oh no, how did that... How did that show up? One second. Um, still. So, what happened there was, uh, Origin, EA's shitty Steam competitor, uh, decided to enable itself back again, so that when I start up my computer, Origin launches. Which is meaningless, because I don't think I've used Origin in literal years. Yep. <sighs> and the problem is, it has those silly... Things or that says your friend is playing this. Yep, your I hate it. Your friend just logged in. Do you want to see your friend? Yep. No. No. We're not even on Origin right now. We're not playing an Origin game. Can you find a way? Did you find a way to disable it? I just closed it. I might uninstall it, but I feel like I'm gonna randomly have some reason to install it again, and it's just gonna be like, eh. Mm -hmm. I, I think we were going to have to use it to play Dead Space 3? Yeah. Or what was it? Yeah, but that's on Steam. I don't know. Ah, uh, Steam so might just want to rebuy it. Yeah. I just, last time I looked, it was like, buy all the DLC for 40 bucks, and it's like, oh, screw you. Mm hmm. Okay, so are you going to cycle the recording? I already did. Oh, okay, so you're going to cut all that out? Yeah. Well, not this part. Okay. The world's a big place, and we're all very small. Things don't change overnight. There are a lot of tragedies that we can do nothing about. But as long as we have empathy, we're bound to continue to feel their pain. But the same happens with, for happiness. When I see things that- when I see my friends being happy, I can also feel their happiness. So, I want to spread happiness to those around me. And that's my tiny rebellion against this cruel world. This really is pretty good. Oh. What's wrong? Another bit of UI thing got turned back on again. Uh-oh, what was it? Uh, pretzel info. I'll just cover it in a black bar, maybe? Or, I don't know. Yeah, because you're not even playing Yeah, I'm pretzel. not. I, it's just too See, many things going on. Too many... Too many things are open on your computer. No, you, no, no, no. So for the pretzel thing, it's not that pretzel's open. It's that uh, I I have that little pretzel credit thing that I turned on in the video. But when my stream deck froze and I restarted the computer, it reset all of the settings. Uh. And so I didn't even notice that it was there. Um, but there's no pretzel music playing, so why correct. would Correct. But it, it just change? automatically pulls from whatever the last song was and it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Go back to this. Get out of here, weird space bird. Mecha Scythe. Yeah, the Mecha Scythe summons... W okay, is that going to be the Wendigo? Is that a Wendigo rabbit? I mean, it is... Okay, let's see what it, what it is. Nope, kill killer a rabbit. rabbit. Oh, it's for the hand this grenade. This calls for some kind of hand grenade. Yeah, okay. So the Wendigos are probably going to be something else, but... Yeah, these are just the... Yeah, the problem I was running with the... Uh, the ice bird summon is uh, it was getting frozen by all the icicles going by and all the enemy attacks and so uh, it wasn't actually doing anything wasn't so very I think efficient. these are better ooh ooh ice spikes a little difficult to platform on these angles but yep yeah cause it's Everybody always hates, uh... Everybody always hates... Oh, what are they? 
the water levels. Me? Uh, mm -hmm. I hate ice levels. Mm -hmm. Also, we gotta go back, which sucks. Huh. I can apparently kind of... Do you of... just like ice levels because of all the sliding? Yeah, the physics always gets really wonky. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can do some pretty wild stuff with ice levels. I'm vividly remembering my experiences with Banjo-Tooie and Hailfire Peaks. And how, yeah, you were slipping and sliding quite a bit on the ice side. listening and it, it seems like this song has gone through a lot of different transitions. I'm really impressed with the length of it. I'm going to die as a result of this stupid plat- never mind, I fired myself forward. And now I'm going to die. Zimmer Soul Shard. Are you feeling okay? You look pretty under the weather. Nothing. It's just work. You're working at the revival department, right? Bringing back talented workers and stuff? Yeah. Hey, you really don't look well. Want to talk about it? Mm. Last month, I was assigned to revive this old mage. His wife and son had already passed away, so he didn't see any point in living anymore. He wanted to end his life. He wasn't allowed to die. He had a talent. The ability to generate endless amounts of petroleum. Every three days, I'd have to go revive him because every time, he'd find a different way to try to leave this world. I tried telling them, him that as long as he tried hard enough, he would find the motivation to live again. And every time, he would look back at me with an empty stare, like he was making fun of me. In the end, he succeeded. He discovered a way to completely wipe his body and soul off the face of the world. When I arrived at the scene, I could only watch as he disintegrated into the ether. He looked happy, like he was relieved of everything. Afterwards, nothing remained. From that day on, I... I, I don't know. I... I never thought helping people stay alive was such a terrible thing. Petroleum? So that's why prices are going through the roof. That is frightening. The fact that, yeah, necromancy was used to keep them alive against their will. I mean, to some small degree. Like, I can almost understand the super hyper-twisted logic behind it all. I mean, we we already know that this government or this world extracted resources from people and with people by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. And also disposed of them just as easily. But that's the thing. It, is, is this just saying that, yeah... Everyone is just a resource or a thing to be used in this struggle for survival, and terrible things keep happening. Apple pie. Oh, apple pie. Also, look at that. Look at that maraschino cherry. Oh, it's a cherry. I thought it was a tomato. Oh, you wouldn't have tomatoes on. I top wasn't of ice thinking. Cream I was too busy trying to platform. things have happy faces. They're super cute. Okay, what else we got? I love that face. The face where it has the kind of W mouth for a cat or something. The cutest of faces. That's an emote idea. I want to have a, a shell bot with a cute face. Because I'm adorable, right? Most of the time. Most of the time. 
Really? Sometimes you're really mean. <laughs> That's when I go on crusades. When anger fuels me. Oh, look at those. They're cuties. I, I really like that rune circle that you have going around your character. Is that a an aura or a yeah. field? So Oh, it changed colors. Yep. What is it doing there then? Uh so it lets me recharge my mana faster. Um so when my when well, my mana meter is full. Um when my mana meter is full, I just have the circle around me. Is there no, there's nothing there. Um and when I deplete it... Ah, uh, fool. Dicey, okay. So when I when I deplete it, it leaves it behind. Mm -hmm. And so as long as I'm inside it, it uh, recharges my mana really quick. Oh, interesting. And I can use that with the sweaty sports drink. To heal up. Yep. Simmer Soul Shard. Don't they offer counseling at your job? Of course they do, but all they say is, you're working for the good of humanity. Or, you're ma- Wait. You're making a significant contribution to society. And keep up the good work. Huh. It's the same on our side. The creatures at Sorbet all need to be fed. Some of them eat people. But we just handled the canned products, so it's a lot less of an impact on our mental health. Oh, right. So I was cleaning the place the other day and found this picture of us, along with the recipe we wrote with Uncle Z. I want to ask you an important life question. <gasps> huh? Do you want grilled fish? Because I do. Uh, what? But they our house with drones if they knew you smuggled that out, let alone cook it. What's more, we don't know how to cook without Uncle Z. See? Taking risks brings new excitement to life. Slap. <laughs> we live to enjoy living. Don't tell me you don't miss the taste of grilled fish. But, but do you even know how to prepare it? No. Why would I know? But let's find out. Pointy pointies. Gory, Gory meat, meat bun. bun. What the? Is that a meat bun for the rabbits? Probably. Oh, yes. Cool. Which reminds me, we need to make those bun emotes too. Yep. But are you going to make the king bun or the cyborg bun? I, I'm uh, Honestly, I've got like a dozen or so emote slots that I have no functional... Uh, a dozen of the regular tier no, or a dozen of the high so, tier So Yeah, so this oh would be gosh. like T2, T3. I want to make a bunch of emotes, but I don't have space for them. So what I was thinking is straight up just... Wait, hold up. Can I? No. I was thinking I'd just do a, dumb, a bunch of dumb memes for a while. Uh, so King Bun for for those of you that ah. This is why is this a fresh hell? Pretty much in jokes from your, yeah. from your game series. Is it done? Is it done? I don't know. Kinda, perhaps? Maybe? Ah, I can't stand it. I want to eat a real grilled fish. Or Whatever. Mine! How is it? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, it's good. Mm. You ate the whole thing? Where's my share? Did you think that was the only one? Look, I brought an entire crate. You do know that by doing this, we might lose our jobs, right? We're gonna have to live as wanted criminals. 
Oh, I never would have thought of that. Of that. Eating good food could be such a bad thing. Uh. Let's make some more and ask the others what they think. So this is the story of... Oh, the... there's the Wendigo. Oh, what, what is... Is it a zombie? Or it does have the deer skull. Are they invisible? I think somewhat. But yes. Okay, ah. so those are the Wendigos that I enjoy the appearance of. Because they have the deer skulls. They go down pretty easily, though. Ooh, well, look at all that eldritch fire. Yeah, so... That's how you get the I, the I stumbled upon a fairly busted combo. Mm-hmm. What's the busted combo? Give me a second. I have to not die. Is it the mana and the drinking? To get all your health back? Uh... Whoop. Uh, n no. So, every time... Every time I consume a soul shard, which is what I uh, use to summon things, mm -hmm. it explodes dealing a buttload of damage. Yeah. The uh, gory meat butt. Gun-type weapons. You really want me to try a gun build, though. Anyway, nah, corpse like explosion. Whenever you, when using scythes to harvest soul shards, inflicts 200% of the soul's value in damage. Uh. Comboed with a forbidden dish that fractures the soul. When hurt when while wielding a scythe, drop soul shards worth 200% of damage taken. 2,000. Yeah, 2,000%. 2, uh, so, and I can get that up to 4,000%. Uh, uh, and then this eventually up to 400%, which means if I take 5 damage, that would be 200 times an additional 200. It's like 400 damage explosion uh, every single time I get hit. Mm-hmm. It's always nice when you get to use your opponent's attacks against them, huh? Oh, I might go. still mess around with some other things, but I the unfortunate part is... Uh, the Have you gotten any Wendigo parts yet? Yeah, we've gotten a couple. Uh, okay. The unfortunate part about this game... Uh, to some lesser degree, is that you have to uh, spend idea points to actually get the upgrades that you want, mm -hmm. and those get a little expensive. Um, so you really can only like go for a couple. Right. Cryptid noodle soup. But it seems like scythe has been working out for you. Scythe has been working out well. A couple of people have said spears are good, uh, and I'm seeing a lot of cool things related to guns and firearms. So it's just like, I'd love to try those too. This is why I cheat in games, so I can actually experiment with all of these. Oh, Scythe Summon. Again. 